Hi, and welcome back to Driving Diversity. My name is Elaine Spector. So last week we covered tip two to how to negotiate a long-term flex work schedule. So this week we're gonna talk about tip three, be clear with your intentions. It is imperative to make clear your intentions to stay on the partnership track, despite wanting flexibility to work from home after offices reopen. So though, although I was able to negotiate a remote work schedule, I wasn't clear with my intention to stay on the partnership track at my previous firm. So this led to challenges in my ability to climb the ladder like many women on flexible schedules face. So when I interviewed for my current firm, I explicitly asked how working a remote and reduced hour schedule would affect my ability to become partner. So this outlined my intentions for the interviewer and compelled them to provide a clear answer about whether I would be treated differently based on my flexible status rather than on my skills. So fortunately, I was told that it would not affect my partnership track whatsoever. A response that has held up when I made partner just two years later. So. Do make it clear in your negotiation that working remotely does not equal a lack of commitment or a desire to abandon the partnership track or whichever other career goals you are working towards. So it's so important to state your intentions. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an amazing day and come back next week for tip four.